Hi there and welcome to today's lesson with Whisker the FM. In this lesson, I'm going to be looking at problem solving. Yes. This is one of those questions in the question paper that you read over and over again and you are like, what? I still don't know what to do, okay? Today, I'm going to give you a simple idea as to what steps to follow and what is the easiest way to get to the answer first. Now, sometimes you will just give the answer, okay? But there are actually steps to follow because with each step, there's a mark allocation, okay? So it's very important that you follow the steps and go through them with me, all right? Let's see what is the idea. So the first step to your problem solving is identify the problem. So what is this question even about? Read it again, say it to yourself in your own words, picture it in your head. What is the actual problem? They will usually give you a set of information first. You read it, you understand it, and then at the end they will ask you, so this is the question, highlight that. Then in that question part, there are certain key words that you need to highlight that tells you exactly what you have to do in this question. It also guides you as to what operation you will be doing. Will it be a plus sum, a minus sum, multiplication sum, or division sum? What is it about? Let's see what are those key words that you need to look out for in the question. So these are the key words that you can look out for if the word sum is an addition sum. Plus. In all. More. The sum of, more than, increased, combined. These are the keywords you should be looking out for if you are doing subtraction word sums. Less than or fewer than. Take away from, decrease. What is the change when you give away? How much is left? What is the difference between? The first thing that you would do which is highlight those words and that if you see that word immediately it tells you this is an addition sum right so step two is develop a solution so now you are developing the problem a little bit more you know what operation you have to do because this was given to you when you were doing the first step which was what identify the problem right so now you know what operation to do so in the second step when you are developing a solution you will now start thinking about doing the actual sum what numbers should i plus write down the numbers and a little number sentence and then draw a little picture step three evaluate right so in step Two, you already developed a solution, so you already came up with a number sentence. So what we do now when we evaluate, we actually do the sum. Now here it's very important that you show each and every step. So you go back to the first step when you identify the problem, what was it about? And when you assess, you ask yourself, did I answer the question? Is my answers and my calculations correct? You double check your answers. And that's it. Let's look at an example where I'm going to apply these four steps to solve a problem. Chad is bored during lockdown and decided to count the amount of times he visits the kitchen. Oh my goodness, all of us are Chad right now. On Monday he visits five times, on Tuesday he visits three times and on Wednesday he visited 11 times. How many times did he visit the kitchen in all? Now what is the first step? You need to identify the problem. Now I said at the end of the question, they ask you the question, which highlights the problem. And the question here is then, how many times did he visit the kitchen in all? So that is the problem. The problem is, how many times did he visit the kitchen in all? So we have now done the first step, we have identified the problem. In this step, you must also highlight key words that will assist you in what operation you have to do. Now, if I look at the keywords, I can see in all. So this tells me it is a plus sum. So I'm going to apply an addition sum over here. Now, in all could easily have been any other word. Remember the keywords we spoke about. So they could have asked you, how many times did you visit the kitchen all together? They could have said, what is the sum of the amount of times that you visit the kitchen? Right? You can replace this with any of the keywords for addition.
All right, so what are the four steps? Idea. Okay, the first one is identify the problem. What is it about? Read it. What do they want me to solve? What did they give me? Check the key words. Okay, step two develop a solution. Here you write down a number sentence based on the correct operation that you decided on in the first step. Okay, remember because the keywords tell you exactly what operation you have to do. Number three, evaluate. Here you do the calculations, you show all your steps. Okay, you make use of diagrams, whatever you need in order to solve this problem. Step four, assess. So now you're going to double check your calculations. You make sure that you did answer the question that was asked initially. And now you conclude with a final answer.